Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. Chapman Wizard. Uh, have you came across uh, an issue that when you want to schedule a meeting with someone, uh, you don't know what time uh, is available for them and especially people out of your organization. So there's a new functionality of scheduling poll where you can actually uh, send out possible uh, dates and uh, people can vote. So let's see how we do it. I'm now in the Outlook New. It can also be in the Outlook Web. And I will go here and actually schedule a meeting. Now you notice I can see here the scheduler. Uh, and I, I can see people uh, availability in the organization, but actually I have the scheduling poll. So let's say the meeting is called demo meeting, demo team, and I will invite Alex. And what I will do is actually I will click here on schedule poll. It gives me uh, three possibilities. Actually, I can see here uh, who is available. And actually, I can even add another person. I want also to invite somebody outside of the organization. This is uh, Ami Diamond. And um, let's see what happens. So I can also set uh, until when the, the poll is uh, valid. And uh, let's just send it out. Now, what you will see actually is that uh, it will actually block all of the dates. You see it says hold, and uh, this is for, for me and for the colleague that I have uh, invited. And let's see what happens, but for the meantime it's hold and it's blocked. So if I go now, um, let's say to uh, Alex's uh, mail, he will get a message with the poll and he can say at um, six o'clock, he can't do it. Um, 6.30 is okay, and uh, so is uh, uh, seven o'clock. So uh, Alex will submit the vote. He can also update it. Now it will be sent as well to the mail of uh, my personal mail, you see. So actually I received here uh, action required. If I would not get uh, this thing, I should also get some voting page. So let's try because first time it didn't work, but this time it works. Just to show you how is the voting uh, page. So if I click, I get to a page. I can choose uh, the person uh, that is attending, which is this one. And in this case, it will send some validation code. And if I don't see it, I can request the validation code. So I will wait until the validation code arrives. And uh, yes, here is the verification. I will take the code, confirm, and I will enter, choose uh, who I am put the verification code and submit. And now I can also uh, choose uh, which time is good for me. So I will say for instance that uh, six o'clock is okay, seven o'clock is okay, and uh, 6.30 is not, and I am submitting. So what will happen, let's go back to the organizer and I will go to one of these um, invites. And I will see I actually that it's still uh, live, the poll. And I can choose the, the date that actually is best for all. I see 100% of the people chose uh, 7 o'clock to be uh, most voters. So I will choose this. And now I will end the post, the poll. And what will happen is I can now send the invitation and notice that these hold dates will be removed because only the date that uh, was chosen and date and time that was chosen is uh, now uh, valid. So this saves lots of time. Uh, hopefully you, 
you enjoyed this video and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.